Okay, now I'm going to talk about getting your images of your musicians into Photoshop. So, in this uh, folder, I've got my Jimi Hendrix photos. Here, I've got my Adam Yorsh ones, the ones that I've chosen. So, to find Photoshop, go to the bottom left, Windows. Go up to All Programs, Adobe Design Premium. And then down here in the blue is Adobe Photoshop CS3. Okay. So to get your images in, you can do one of two things. You could either choose them like this. Select them all. And open them that way. And then they'll all appear. Now once you've got them in Photoshop, it sometimes it can get a bit messy, so best thing to do is to go window arrange cascade is always nice and then they're all sort of like cards and the best thing to do straight away is to choose which ones not to have in your painting so this one's a really cool photo but it's a little bit complicated to cut it out there's other people that um, I don't know it's kind of distracting a little bit it's a good photo but it's not useful for the project so I'm gonna get rid of that one so one is good. I'm going to keep that one, so I'm going to just minimize it. That one's good, I'm going to minimize that. I've already got that one. I've already got that one. I'm going to keep that one as well. I'm going to have to choose between these two. I'm going to go with uh, this one. Alright. So here's all the ones that I'm going to use, okay, so now I've got to somehow get it down to three so maybe I'll get rid of that one because those two are sim too similar there we go, alright now I've got my three that I'm going to use alright that didn't take too long. Now I'm going to go File, New, International Paper, A3. So we want it to be at good quality. And now I could probably just, using the selection tool, select the entire area. Cut it up using Control X. I don't need that. Go back and buy A3 size um, document and print that in with Control V. Now, if you go Control T, you can change the size of the image, but it might get a bit strange redoing it. So instead, hold down Shift when you go to the corner, and it will keep it in ratio. Okay, now you see that there's um, a little window over here, and this is the, your layers. If it doesn't appear, go to Window and Tick Layers. So you see it disappears when I take the tick off. So we definitely want to be able to see our layers, so I could call that um, Head and Shoulders. Shoulders, whatever. And now I'm going to go to this one. This one's a little bit trickier. I want to get rid of all that grey behind him. So I use the magic wand tool, which is the fourth button down. Either quick selection tool, it's a little bit different, but it's basically the same. So I'll just show you again. So a quick selection tool looks like this. So you select part by part, holding down shift as you go all the way around. Although his hair kind of looks unnatural like that. Or you could do a magic wand tool and do it all in one go. Um, how strong it is is the tolerance. So see when I'm doing it with a very weak tolerance. It might not really pick up stuff right to the end and keep a lot of his hair. Whereas if I had it really strong 
staying out quite a bit. Actually, that's a cooler effect. I'm going to go with that. Although it's taken out part of his jacket, see. Interesting. No, I'm going to go step backwards and I'm probably going to make it about 50. There we go. Keep the jacket. And remember, this is for a photograph, remember. Now we're going to drag this into this document. So go back to what you want to drag. Make sure you're on the arrow with the the top toolbar. And drag it in. Again, it's going to be really small. So Control T. Hold down Shift. Keep it in ratio. We want to get rid of that white though. So there we go. Now we've got two images on here, and I'll call this one. Uh, Okay, cool. Now I can get rid of this. And we've got a larger body shot. This one's going to be a bit trickier, so instead of the magic wand, because if we do that, it gets rid of a lot of the model, and we don't want that. It's a little bit harder because it's got yeah, this curtain behind him. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use the magic wand tool. And the magic wand tool will start at one point and literally just go around the shape of Jimmy. Careful around the guitar. And it kind of works out where the, the background and the character is. It's going to be difficult here for these furry bits and definitely around his hair, although he's wearing a hat, so it might not be that hard. Yeah, And some sometimes the tool when you're using Magic Wand will probably just kind of figure it out itself. Okay, time to do the hair. But remember this is just to inspire us to do a photo. Fairy bits again on his shoulder. Down. Things get a little bit more difficult here. Okay, that'll do. Okay, now we've selected all that and not the background using the magic wand. So now we're going to go Control X. And we'll cut them out. Don't need that, it's rubbish. We're going to go back into the big document, Control V. And now I've got this one as well. I'm going to call this one Guitar. So now we've got four layers here. We've got the background, which is white, the head and shoulders, the head, and the guitar. Okay, let's get rid of the background just for a second. Now the head and shoulders one. If you want to get rid of anything, just click on the eye. So this is the plan for the painting, remember. So I'm going to put Jimmy about there. Head, where can we put the head? Head doesn't really matter where it is. I think a good place might be quite lowish. The guitar one. Again, I'm going to use Control. Select the image you want to affect. Control T. I'm going to make it bigger. And then you can work out a composition by yourself. Remember, we're going to have lots of paint worked over everything. So some of these jackets, for for example, could just continue on through there and through there. So that's I'm pretty okay with that composition as it is. Actually, could probably move the guitar one along a bit. And now what we're going to do. If you're happy with everything, you go ha um, layer, flatten image, and you see how it turns all of the layers into just one background. And then save that as a JPEG. And call it finished. And then that, oh, make sure the quality is large. 
and that is what we'll print off.